What's happening, guys? We're back with part four of the duck boat deal. So we've gotten actually quite a bit done since the last episode. Um, you seen us go ahead and throw that layer paint on the boat. Well, huh, we went ahead and camoed it because that was kind of a job in its own. Here is the boat. We got some sawgrass down there, painting some cattails. Boy, look at that. Now, it ain't perfect. I know it is not perfect. And there's the back of the boat. So we've got it painted, but we have also got some fun stuff in. We have got the mount for the motor. We have got, y'all, you gotta excuse this mess. This, I gotta clean this shop up. We, we have made a darn mess during this boat build, but anyways, that's besides the point. Then we also have got the shaft. We've got the shaft for the motor. And then over here, let's move this box. And then right here, this is all the goodies. We've got everything to hook up this mud motor kit. This is from Swamp Runner. We've got extra nuts. Nut for the prop, throttle cable, props. We got the grip, the throttle itself. So we've got a bunch of stuff right now. Also, I'm just running around going crazy right now. Also, we have got the hydro turf. And that's what's about to, we're, well, we're about to install part of it today. I've only got a couple hours uh, that I can work today. But, and then, let me show you the best part. Check that out. This is the Predator 670cc 22 horsepower motor. We took all the plastic off here, painted it the tan color, Got the tree bark added on it. That's one bad little engine. And that is going, this sucker's going to scream on this 1448. I just, mm, I don't know. I'm, I'm excited about that. It's got the stock muffler on it. We're, we will be changing that out. Talked to a guy, he builds custom mufflers for that. So once we get all this done, I, I can save some more money. We can, uh, we're gonna add, we're gonna add a new muffler on that thing, make it sound right. This is what we've got going on now. We're gonna cut out a stencil for the front deck of the boat. We're gonna trace it onto the hydro turf and we're gonna get it laid. We're probably gonna try to get the front deck laid and probably the middle bench seat. So guys, it's coming along. We, I think we on the downhill slope of this. We've got that, we've got diamond plate on the way. We've got the switch panels. The only thing we've got to order is a bar light and some interior lights and then everything's getting put together. So let's lay some hydro turf. This is the tedious part. Just getting it perfect. Which we ain't gonna get it perfect. All right, so we've got the piece cut out. This stuff, it's got a 3M backing on it. It's, I'm sure it would stick, but we've sanded down the front deck. We've got a 3M adhesive spray we're gonna put on there just to give it that extra stickiness, I guess you could say. Cause I don't ever plan on taking these floors back up. So we want it to be on there good. So we're gonna spray it. It's gonna take five or 10 minutes to get tacky. Then we're gonna stick the flooring on.
So this is our first time laying hydroturf. And boy, after that 3M adhesive spray got on there and the backing on this, yeah, she's, she's stuck. There, there's no pulling it back up. But, man alive. Jump down here. Oh. That right there. And we still got a trim. We've got a little overhang right here, but once it dries up, we'll we'll get all that trimmed up. But boy, howdy, if that don't look good. Now on the camera, this looks a whole lot lighter than it really is in person. It's, it's got a little more dull look to it, but man, that's all right right there. I'm more than pleased with that. And we're gonna do, we gotta clean some of this off. We're gonna do the tops of these right here. And then we've got to do the back right there. Like I said, we're probably not going to get it all done today, but we're going to get, try to get half of it done at least. This is going to look good. We getting this middle bench seam done. A little tough, not too bad, but for for a beginner and trying to lay this stuff, I ain't, I ain't upset at it. So we've got this part done. Uh, there's a little section right there. And then we've got the front, and now we're working right along this. Well, I have... I'm pleased with this. I think so is Barley. We've got boats still a mess, but we've got the front deck done. We just set the uh, pedestal mount up there, just see how it looked. Then we come back here, and we've got both the hatches done, and then all this uh, in between. We've got a little gaps just because of the metal and everything, but it is what it is. Then we've got that black pedestal mount. We just got it set in there and. I'm gonna tell you what, I like it. I mean, we're busting our tail on this and it's turning out right, but we've got, we gotta clean some of this up. We've still gotta do this back bench, this floor, that floor. Oh yeah, also we got some new uh, ball speakers we're gonna be putting in there. We still got a little bit of work to do. We're done for the day. We'll pick this back up when we start laying the other floor. And we've got the diamond plate come in to build up the uh, front part of the boat, attach the light bar to it. We've got a new switch panel to put in here. Uh, we gotta get the motor mounted, the gas tank, the interior lights. And I think that's about it. Guys, it's coming together. What's happening guys? So it is the next day. Yesterday, you seen us install the front deck of the HydroTurf. We got the middle bench sheet done. Today, for this evening, we're gonna try to get back bench done and possibly even this back floor. And then the signal we may also, right here we're installing the radio, and then right here, that's gonna be the switch panel. So I'm probably gonna take a grinder, cut that out so we can insert all that. And about the only thing left to do now is we'll get to work. <laughs> For the radio. There we go. We got a switch panel in. And oh and radio in. That was that was a job. Trying to grind them holes out. I, I'm glad they're in, but thank God. Now we gotta clean up 
all these metal shavings so we can get this hydro turf on. Throw on this adhesive. Whoa! Oh, yeah. got lucky with that so like i said we, we cut it to fit it laid out perfect now we're just gonna notch right here right here and get everything we're gonna get everything laid down but this stuff ain't no joke hey I, I ain't gonna be laying enough for a while after this a little tedious going around them ribs ain't it mm -hmm. i mean it ain't terrible but so he's cutting that side i got this side all cut around. I mean, we got, it'd be all right. It'd be all right. It look, no, it, it actually looks, it looks pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty tickled with how that layout is. Man. It's gonna work. We're gonna let him get that done. And then we're gonna move on. Getting the back measured. We almost done. That's done. This floor is done. This bench is done. We've got this floor done. Panel inserted. Radio inserted. Now just to do this. And the hydro turf is done. We have come a long way. Just we almost done with this boat build. The last part is going down finally. Alright. I apologize. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to y'all down for a few so till we can get this one figured out. And just like that, we have it laying. We still gonna trim that little flap out right there. He's cutting out the uh, hatch. But just like that, we're done with the hydro turf, and we are more than happy with that right there. That looks good. Let's go ahead, drop it in the comments. Let me know what you like. If you think we did a good job, give us a thumbs up for our first time at doing hydro turf. And probably my last. Just saying. So this is going to end this episode. We've got the hydro turf laid. Like I said, we got the blue switch panel the radio they just got to be bolted in screwed in and then next thing i think so let's see today is tuesday saturday we're going to mount the motor we'll do that we may just do that in the episode in itself i'm not 100 sure yet and after that all we're going to do is cut 
the diamond plate is gonna be here tomorrow. We're gonna install the interior lights and just hook everything up and guys, the boat bill's done. That, that, I mean, it's, I feel like it's kind of took a while, but then again, it's went by pretty quick. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment, leave a thumbs up, and until next time, we'll see you.